how you doing here well here's my desk out in the garage uh, those are the two old gate they're identical gateway well they're identical boxes but they're uh, one's a 500 megahertz and the bottom one of the top of the 350 megahertz and bottoms of 500 megahertz and it makes a good place to set my toolbox and my that's my Kenwood amplifier Harman Kardon I'm sorry Harden Kardon amplifier that I used for about bought for $13 at a thrift store and used it left it on day and night using it all the time for uh because i play stuff you know when i go to sleep and i just leave it on all night and that's my old generator tester but it still works but it's kind of acts up now i think the caps are pretty old by now that's uh you know no remote or anything it's from the 80s i believe but i used to have i have a zone net router up here that uh, can be used it's a, uh, I can't read the letters, but uh, it can be used as a, a wireless repeater, and that's what I do out here. Uh, and I just plug these computers, you know, the wire, the Ethernet cables into that router and, and repeat my uh, wireless signal from in the house. Remember when you couldn't film your screen because you would get that? That one's working pretty good, but I got no connection, and, I, and every time I come out here, I haven't for a long time, and sometimes they would do that, and I would have to reset the router with the button on the back, and then uh, go back. I actually started saving my settings that I used to do my re wireless repeater, and then I would just load my settings, but it keeps doing that. Sometimes you could just reboot the router, but now I can't get it to connect at all, and so I wanted to go ahead and remind myself of what... Is happening in this one I open up the uh, open up the uh, connect you know network connection properties and that looks like an IPv6 address and I'm not even uh, use it I don't have that I don't even know if that router will do it it might but I don't, I don't ever turn it on it is getting some packets but it can't get on the internet and I can't uh, well, you can't log into the router when it's set as a repeater. You have to reset it with the hard reset button on the back. Then you can log into the router. But uh, it doesn't get on the internet. I can't log into the router. I, uh, it's pretty, it's not a real, uh, you know, this is the 350 megahertz, not very fast. Let's see. Go to my history. See if I can. Uh, it's not keeping the history. Maybe I got that turned off since it's out here in the garage. I don't know. But uh, the back button's not going. Anyway, I've tried every. Uh, I'm, I can't remember for sure what the IP address of this router, but I tried every one of them for all the routers I got. And this one, I hadn't tried it yet. I was trying to go to the weather. That's my homepage. It didn't work. Let's see. Um, One nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot ten, I believe, dot one. I think it's it's a dot ten. It could be a dot two. And I doubt this one will go in there either. I couldn't try it a minute ago because sometimes when you boot this one up, it, it just sits there locked up and you got to hard shut it down and start it again. I think the hard drive might be starting to get read errors. Sitting out here in the heat and the cold for, I don't know, five years now? I'm not even sure. But it's doing the same type of thing. This one you can't film it. And, and you can see up there the... Uh, can't really see it well. You, where is it? There's an X on there, and that shows you don't have a network connection. These are two different versions of the Bain Linux is what they are. And uh, you can't even go to connection information, it won't show up, so it just has no connections. You get edit connections. Okay, there's you though, it's got wireless. That other one doesn't have all these uh, settings. Like, this is normal to me, all this, you know, being able to do that but it has no connection whatsoever and it always just works automatically so it's got to it's got to have to do with uh, my router 
I want to see if it has IPv6 turned on. MAC address. Yeah, there's IPv6. Ignore. That's why you have to set it with uh, these older operating systems. This is an older version of the domain, like 5.6 or something, 7 maybe. I have it, you know, I could look and see, but automatic DHCP, that's how I do it. No wireless. And it, oh, look. Oh, that's just a MAC address. Oh, that's what it would be. Okay. I've, it's been so long since I've had to fool with it, I've forgotten. What what do, what do you expect to see in there? But I do remember uh, this other one. It I don't know. There's, I'm sure there's a way you could get in there and set it. Uh, you might have to do it in the command line or in the in the config files. Probably in the config files on that one. I don't know. But I've never had to do that. I just you know just plug <laughs> plug and play, <coughs> boot and go. <coughs> but um, they're not going. And they haven't for a while, and I haven't ever wanted. When I come out here to work on stuff, I don't want to fool with it. You know, I just forget it, and shut them back down. Sometimes I forget they're not working, or I think maybe they'll work this time. But I'm not going to fool with it today. I just wanted to make a note to myself to uh, shut it down. Shut it down quick. I wanted to make a note to myself of what I'm seeing here so that. Oh yeah, this cleans the browser. That's why I have no history because I've been having it get clean. I've got an add-on in that browser. That's a Mozilla-based browser. Um, clear private data. That's why there was no history at all in there. Okay, so but yeah, I'm not sure because I don't pay any attention to IPv6. I've never had a reason to use it because everything I got is based on IPv4. You know. But I think that's what that is, is an IPv6 address. So my router may be serving up IPv... But the thing is, when when you have that zone that set up as a repeater, then um, it gets its IP address from my Linksys inside, and it serves up IPv4. I don't... I might do IPv6. Maybe it does, and I got it turned on, and... And it's you know found, and that's what'll happen. It'll get an IPv6 address, but it doesn't work for some reason. Uh, that, uh, before they implemented it, I tried it out and tried to use it, and I never could get it to work on. That. And I just get, didn't want to fool with it, you know. Shut that down. Uh, now in the newer versions of Fedora 23 and Debian, I'm sure I have, uh, have a new ver like Debian 9 on one of them, but uh, the newer ones. Warsher's going. The newer ones, um, I think they would work just fine, you know. But um, I don't, I don't, I don't use it on purpose, you know. So anyway, there we go. Note to self: I'm gonna have to reset that zone, that router, and uh, do do something about it if you want to use it out here. All right, bye.